So what are the uh, plans for the Explorer in Kansas City? Now that we're back with it? So, technically, as it sits right now and has been for a little while, the transmission is hurt. It's in our 60. Now, what is it? I don't know whether it's... It's that, them trans brake videos. Well, this <laughs> one, I don't even have a trans brake video. <laughs> so basically... It's got a crazy rough flare. I can't dig the car. I haven't been able to dig dig the car for a few months now. And that's just because I've been trying to figure out what route I should go with the transmission as far as do I want to rebuild this one with like a kit from Suncoast or send it to like the A1 place in Georgia. RSA, they're in Florida. They're, they've got like 75 different freaking trans brake launches off there. Um, freshly rebuilt trans. So this is still a stock one. 55,000 miles on the stock motor and trans in this car that I have obviously fully documented online, just rip and rip and rip and rip. So it's finally time to do something. I didn't service the fluid um, probably soon enough. I probably did that a little bit too late, but no big deal. So I'm going to, I have a buddy here uh, in Kansas City at a local dealership who's gonna make sure to take care of me. It's who I use um, all prior to. Uh, that is my boy, Josh Sweet. So he's gonna take care of me get the transmission fix. My goal is to have this thing running long enough. I want to order a 2024 Explorer ST. Um, the front end's been uh, refreshed a little bit. The back end's refreshed a little bit. The interior's refreshed. So let's start over with a brand new Explorer ST um, and we'll mod it just like this one. Hopefully even further we can make it quicker. Um, the tuning has only been going upward since three years ago. So everything Everything's gonna be better tuning wise for the longevity of the car. So yeah, that's the plan. Get the transmission fixed and drive it until I can get a 2024 Explorer ST. Yeah, I also choose to make a bunch of noise. This sounded really good. I'm pretty sure that lady heard it. <laughs> we gotta get the trans fixed. So this is what they would call like a, a flare. So from third to fourth, this is what she likes to do. <laughs> Never mind, it shifted so crispy. I don't know what the, that is the biggest thing with these 10R60s, my God. Okay, hold on, let's, let's swap it's it like over It's like when you take it to the shop and they say they can't get it to duplicate. I'll get this one to duplicate, I think. Let's try it again. Oh, right in the bridge? So you could probably hear that wow, and yeah. you can also feel it. It's kind of like a little hiccup. It is. It's like a hiccup, and we probably have a burn. Guys, I was just now putting that video together, like watching it for the first time. I think we did that two weeks ago, um, and I realized, I guess the camera must have died right there at the end when I was just telling what I think it is, and what I think it is is just a couple burnt, we got some, we got some burnt clutches in this thing. But like I said earlier in the video, 55,000 miles on everything stock, stock trans, stock motor. And the way that I run this thing, of course we have some burnt stuff in the transmission. So um, yeah, that's just my thoughts. But it, if you did make it this far, this is a new style of video for me and, and having 816 Media there with me, Aiden, is going to make this so much easier to get this style of video and these vlogs. Because people have been asking from, for vlogs from me, which I appreciate so much. I never thought anyone would ever want to watch a vlog from me. So um, we're just toying with this style and if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching that whole video and I apologize that the ending was so screwed up, but we'll work on it. We'll get better as, as we progress. Thank you guys.